everyone comes up here and says Jack Sparrow, it's not my full name, is it? No, it's Captain Jack. Exactly. Remember, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain. She's not sure. Wonderful. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Welcome to a new video. This time we will have a look what is going on behind the scenes at Pirates of the Caribbean and learn something about this iconic attraction at Disneyland Paris. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate life for me. Yo-ho, yo-ho. Pirates Min mor og far, de elsker os. Men ja, så er det en aftes yo-ho! Yo-ho, yo-ho, a virus life for me! Pirates of the Caribbean is one of Adventureland's most famous attractions, and it has a history as impressive in its creation as in its staging. Our story begins in the 1960s, but not in the Caribbean. It all starts in New Orleans. Walt plans to expand the Disneyland Park with a new land called New Orleans Square in the streets inspired by those of New Orleans. Walt wants to create an attraction called the Thieves Market, like our Aladdin Secret Passage would allow guests to wander between static scenes. Walt and the Imagineers are stopped in their quest to work on four pavilions for the 1964 New York Universal Exhibition. Building on the success of these four pavilions and the technologies developed for this event, Walt decides to transform its concept of Thieves Market. He was inspired by It's a Small World and the use of the audio animatronics combined with a catchy song and boats to go from one scene to another. With these new elements, thieves became pirates and the small attraction becomes an ambitious project. Remember that a Disney attraction is born from a film. In the case of Pirates of the Caribbean, Walt must create an original universe that will populate scenes made of many details. So many details that even the Imagineers think there might be too many, because no one can see them all in one visit. And this is exactly Walt's idea. He wants visitors to come and go back in the attraction to see the same scenes and they always discover something different. And Walt was right because the attraction is so detailed that it served as inspiration for a movie franchise that bears his name's Pirates of the Caribbean. And the loop is completed with the arrival of the characters of the films in the attraction, like the famous Captain Jack Sparrow. The lights in the queue are getting more dimmed towards the end of the queue so that guests' eyes are getting used to low-light situations. Yeah. 
Here we are in the boarding and disembarking area. We added LED lights under the boarding area to improve visibility. It's one of the most detailed rides that Disney have ever created. This version in Paris is very good because it's got a lagoon section at the start that takes you past a restaurant and then up a chain mechanism to the second level of the ride. Here we are at scene seven. You can see different guns with the smoke effects and the three gunners. are always being updated to the latest technology. If there is something not working or broken, they are repaired during the evening. We have been making the animatronics animated movements a little more realistic. We have completely redone some figures. This is a pretty unique scene because we mix animation with the figures. So we have the F1, which has a lot of movement, and then what we call the gunners, the three other pirates on the galleon. We also have all the cannons with smoke effects made by Liquid Co. 2 and the effect of the cannons retreating. This is the remote, as we call it. It controls and operates all of the animatronics movements. We use it to adjust and refine certain movements to make them more realistic. It takes a long time to make a figure move like the F1 with about 15 movements. It can be done in one night, at least one night, so the equivalent of one day. Jean-Luc 
moment we are tuning, we fine-tune each movement of the figure. We do this thanks to this box that we call a piglet box. It allows us to take control, the rotation of the head. The graph allows us to have feedback from the sensor because each movement is equipped with a hydraulic or pneumatic cylinder, and that way we have the exact position on the movement. It allows us to make changes and see if there are problems. It also allows to change the speed of the movements, like the head turn. We can make it turn quickly, on a head. Like him, he has all the head movements. Here, we can control the hand up and down, or tilt it, and also the mouth. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is scene 12, the city on fire. It has the most video projectors of the entire attraction. The whole attraction has 23 projectors and this scene alone has seven of them. Do you not know these things about me? Most impressive thing about me, of course, I've left me hat in there. Well, that's ruined it, isn't it? What's a captain without a hat? I'll go get some rum. I could use some rum. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Light drop, I best not. Oh, no, no. That's a buffet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to stay updated with more content like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks for your support. Oh